Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from LeetCode called Longest Common Subsequence. It's a medium. We're going to jump right into it. Given two strings, text one and text two, return the length of the longest common subsequence. If there is no common subsequence, return zero. A subsequence of a string is a new string generated from the original string, which some characters can be none, deleted without changing the relative order of the remaining characters. For example, ACE is a subsequence of ABCDE. A common subsequence of two strings is a subsequence that is common to both strings. Example one, we have ABCDE and ACE. Here, output is three because ACE is common to both. Example two, we have the same string, so ABC, ABC. Of course, the longest common subsequence would be ABC, length of three. And example three, we have text one and text two with ABC and DEF. No characters are in common, so we would output zero. Okay, so we have two strings and we want to find the longest common subsequence between them. So we want to find all the characters they have in common in the same relative order. So let's take a look at example one over here. We have A, B, C, D, E and A, C, E. So this is going to be text one and text two. Of course, A is in common and then C and then E. So that is why we output three. Now say we had another example, C, A, B, D, E as text one and B, D, E, C, A, B, E as text Two. What is the longest common subsequence here? Well, if you notice something, right? Both of these strings end in the same character of E. So if we were to know what the longest common subsequence would be for these two substrings of the original text one and text two, then we know what the longest common subsequence would be for our entire input of text one and text two. We just have to take whatever we get from these two strings and add one to that. And how do we know what the longest common subsequence would be between these two strings? Well, what is the longest common subsequence we would get before this D and B were there? And then we want to see how it changes with the addition of B and D. So we're going to be building up. We're going to be using dynamic programming to find out our solution. What we want to do is keep track of the longest common subsequence we can make at each index for both of these strings. So we have two indices we are going to keep track of marking the end of a substring for both text one and text two. And for every single possible combination, we want to see what the longest common subsequence would be. For example, if we had three characters from string one and two from text two, what is the longest common subsequence possible here? Or if we had four from here, just two from here and so forth. And to keep track of this, we're going to be using a two dimensional matrix marking the indices for both our texts. The rows are going to represent one text, the columns are going to represent the indices from another one. So to visualize this, for this example, say my text one is along the columns over here, so I have C, A, B, D, E, and for my rows, I have text two over here, B, D, E, C, A, B, E. Now say as of right now, we are just going to look at C, A, B, and B, D. So if I were to take zero characters from text one, the longest common subsequence I can make with zero characters from text two, even one character from text two or two characters from text two would still be zero. And same over here, right? If I have zero characters, the longest common subsequence I would be able to make is zero. Now, what if I had one character? So say I had one from each. So I have one C and I have one B. They aren't equal. So the longest common subsequence I can make right now is still zero. Now, what if I have a second character for text one? So right now I'm dealing with C, A and just B. I want to see what the longest common subsequence is in that combination of substrings. With C, A and B, it's still zero. We don't have any common characters. So let's see if we add another character, if we have C, A, B with B. Now these Bs are equal. So right now, the longest common subsequence we can make is of length one, and that's the Bs right over here. Now, if I were to add D to this, so if I was looking at C, A, B, D, this substring with just B for text two, what's the longest common subsequence I can make here? So bringing D into the mix, well, if I was looking at just one character from text two and now four from text one, so I have C, A, B, D with B, the longest common subsequence I can make between this is still one. We add an additional character over here and B and D aren't equal. So we can't really increase the count of the longest common subsequence we've seen so far. But what was the longest common subsequence we had before adding that D? That was one. So we're still going to have that one as our answer. It's still going to be B, B. Now, if I were to look at two characters from text two, so now I'm considering B and D together. If it's zero characters from text one, of course, the longest common subsequence is zero. If it's one character, it's still going to be zero, C and B, D, 
you have zero common subsequences. And then A and BD. Again, A and D are not equal, so we can't extend that longest common subsequence, right? So we want to see what we had before we added this D. The longest common subsequence we could make between C, A, and B was zero. So we're just going to extend that over and keep that zero here. And with C, A, B, and D, well, before we had this D, the longest common subsequence we could have made was one. And since B and D aren't equal, we can't increase that. So we're just going to keep that one over here. Between C, A, B, and B, D, the longest common subsequence we can make is of length one. Now, with C, A, B, D, four characters over here and two over here, B, D, what is the longest common subsequence? Both of these characters are equal. D is equal to D, right? So whatever the longest common subsequence we could have made before the addition of either of these two characters, we're just going to add one to that. So what we had with C, A, B, and B, that was one over here. We're just going to add one to that. So we're going to see what's the top left corner cell compared to us. And we're going to add one to that. So now we have two over here. And just like that, we're going to go ahead and fill out our entire matrix. If the two characters we are on are equal, we take this top left corner and add one to that. If not, we just take the max between what's above us and to the left of us. Because at this cell, we are dealing with four characters from text one and two from text two. If these aren't equal, we want to see what the maximum we can make is either without the addition of this character over here or this one down here. So we're going to go ahead and fill out this entire matrix. And once we get to the bottom right corner, that means we are now dealing with the entire substring. So we're basically dealing with text one and text two entirely. And that is going to be our answer. Okay, so I've brought these in. All of these are now one big matrix. And just to go ahead and fill in for E as well. First, we're looking at just one character from text two and five from text one. So with B and C, A, B, D, E, the longest common type sequence is still one. And now once we get to D and E, these are not the same character. So we want to take the max of either what's above us or to the left of us. That's going to be two. So we're going to have two over here. So the longest common subsequence between these two is still going to be B, D. Now let's loop through from here. So now we're considering three characters for text two and one from text one. E and C are not equal. So we take the max of above us and to the left of us. So that's going to say zero. E and A, again, we're taking the max of these. It's zero. Now with E and B, the max is going to be one. So we're going to carry that down over here. And again, what this represents is the longest common subsequence we can make up until this index. So between BDE and CAB, the longest common subsequence is of length one. And that's going to be that B, what we had before we added this E. And now we check with CABD and BDE. The max here is two. So we take that over here. And now we check with E and E. These characters are equal. So we want to take what we had before we added these characters. So that was two and add one to that. So now our longest common subsequence is three. And now going over here, we're checking with C and C. They are equal. So we take what's to the top left of us and add one to that. So right now with C and B, D, E, C, the longest common subsequence is of length one because of this C. So now we check with four characters here and two from here. So we take the max from above us and to the left of us. Now the max here comes from the left of us. So what we had before we added this A. So that's going to be one. And now with four and three, they are not equal. So we take the max, which is still going to be one. C and D take the max, which is two. C and E take the max, which is three. Now with A, C and A take the max, which is one. A and A, we add one to whatever is to the top left. So that is going to be two. A and B, we're taking two. It's the max. A and D is still two. And now for A and E, it's going to be three. For B, again, just filling this out, this is going to be the max. This is also the max. And now we add one to what we had over here. So that's going to be three. This is going to be three. And this is still going to stay three. With C and E, one, this is going to be two, three, three. And now these are equal. So we add one to over here and get four. So the longest common subsequence between these two texts is of length four. And that is going to be C, A, B, E. And we have C, A, B, E. So that is of length four. So let's go ahead and code this up and then run through an example. To code this up, the first thing I want to do is count how many rows and columns I would need for my two dimensional matrix. So rows and columns are going to equal the length of text one plus one and length of text two plus one. And this is because we want to include this zero with character over here. 
So once that is done, now I want to initialize my matrix. So I'm going to call it DP and I'm going to initialize it with all zeros. So we're going to have zero for I in range columns. So we're adding zero for all the columns that we have. And we're going to do this for every single row that we have. So for J in range rows. Once that is initialized, we would have a two dimensional matrix with all zero values. So now I want to go ahead and loop through my two dimensional matrix. And I just want to loop through after this first index because we know these would all be zero. So I'm going to do four row in range one, two rows and four column in range one, two column. So now what value do I want for this cell? The first thing we start off is at one, one. So this first character from text one and text two, we want to check if the characters are equal. So if text one of that first character. So it's going to be row minus one because right now row is one. We want to get the zeroth character of text one. So this is equal to the zeroth character of text two. So column minus one. Then DP of row column is going to hold what we have in the top left plus one because the characters are equal. So it's going to be DP of row minus one column minus one plus one. If that's not the case, then we just want to take the max of what's above us and to the left of us. So DP of row column is going to equal the max between DP of row minus one column and DP of row column minus one. And at the end, all we have to do is return DP of row and column. So let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted. Now, space and time complexity for space, we are keeping track of a two dimensional matrix. So if the length of text one is M, the length of text two is N, the space is going to be O of N times M. And same for time, we iterate through this entire 2D matrix. So that's also going to be O of N M for time. Now to run through a super quick example, just going through our code line by line to make sure we truly understand what's happening. Say we had the following example. We have BCC and ACBS text one and text two. So just going through this line by line, rows and columns is going to be the length of text one and text two plus one. So it's going to be four each. And now we want to go ahead and initialize our DP matrix to be zeros for a four by four matrix. So it's going to look something like this. We have zeros for a four by four matrix. Now we loop through. So for row in range one to row. So we're looping through from one to four. We start off at row one. And for column in the same range, we start off at column one. So we have row equaling one and column equaling one. We're at this cell over here. The first thing we do is check if the characters are equal. So text one at row minus one. So what is the text one at zero? So that's going to be B right over here. And same for text two. Text two at index zero is A. They are not equal. So we go out of this if and we're in this else over here. We want to take the max of what's above us and to the left of us. Well, that's just zero. So this is going to stay zero over here. We're back in this for loop. And now we increment column by one. So we make the same checks over here. They are not equal. So again, this is going to stay zero. Go back in the for loop. Column is now three A and C again are not equal. So we take the max, which stays zero. So now we go into this for loop over here. Row is two. So we have row over here and column starts off at one. So now we have a C and just B. These characters are not equal, so this stays zero. And we are back in this for loop. At this point, the characters are equal, right? This is now true. Text one of index one and text two of index one, both are C. So now we add one to the top left diagonal of us. So that's going to be zero plus one, so which is gonna be one. Now we go back in this for loop. We are at three over here and we make a check. These two characters are equal. So we add one to what was at the top left of us. So that's going to be one again over here. We don't copy paste what's to the top or left because these two characters are equal. So the best case scenario right now, the longest common subsequence we can make at B, C, C and A, C is of length one. And that could be either from the C comparing to this C or this C comparing to this C. It doesn't really matter. We just want the actual length. So now we go out of this for loop for columns and we go into it for rows. So now row is three, column is back to one. And we make the same check over here. The Bs are equal. So we add one to this. So that's going to be one over here. Going forward, row is now two. What is at three, two, B and C? They are not equal. So we just take the max of what's the top or left. So that's going to be one. So now column is at 
3. Now checking this, b and c are not equal to each other, so we take the max of what's at the top or left, either way it is 1, and that is what we output. So between bcc and acb, the longest common subsequence is of length 1, and that's just one combination of the c's that we can make. So we just went ahead and solved the longest common subsequence. If you have any questions at all, of course, let me know down below. If this video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.